What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Igor Severino versus Andre Lima. Igor Severino, 8-0. He's a slight underdog at my at plus 150. 20 years old. He'll be 21 in a little over a month. 5'7 with a 69 and a half inch reach. Fighting Andre Lima, 7-0, minus 185 favorite. 5'7 with a 67 and a half inch reach. Both fighters fought on Dana White's contender series. This is a really, really fun fight. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people think uh, Lima is going to win this matchup. I like Igor Severino. Now, if you did watch uh, Igor Severino's fight in the contender series, uh, the first round really, I don't think, went his way. But that second round, he was able to force exchanges and, and um, um, what's what's it called? Uh, uh, create them and make them longer. So instead of throwing like the one, two, he was throwing like one, two, three, four, and he wouldn't land on the one, two, three, but he landed on the four. And it was the left hook every time in that second round that was hurting the fighter that he was fighting. So uh, that I really, really like those instances. Now, sometimes he does get caught flat-footed. This guy was able to stick and move for that first round. Um, and kind of somewhat in the second round as well. I mean, he dropped him, hurt him, almost finished him. He got up. And then he kind of just stayed patient. The guy was, you know, uh, using good movement. I was very impressed with the fighter he fought as well. So hopefully he gets in the UFC someday too. But I, I like Igor Severino in this one. I, I think he does a lot of good work. Andre Lima, I think maybe is a little bit more well-rounded. He won a unanimous decision in his one, in his win in the contender series. Um, kind of, I don't think, lived up to the hype that it, it had going into it, how the commentators were talking about him, all these things. But that being said, it, it's not necessarily a... I guess I, I guess a diss. I don't I don't know, but two inch reach advantage for Igor, and I like the power that Severino carries with him, especially at 125. I really really like this matchup. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I have Severino by knockout. As always, guys, let me know who you're picking. Let's talk about it. Peace.